Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Johnny and I'm so glad that you're here today because I'm gonna be going over a few different things specifically about my desk setup. I have a few different desks that I like to work around. So hopefully it'll be a little bit interesting to see how I utilize those things and maybe you can implement those into your own desk. Nothing here is supposed to be a recommendation or like a review of any of the products that I have on my desk. It's just things that I like and maybe you'll like them as well. Maybe you'll hate them, I don't know. I'm just here to have some fun and just kind of show you around you know, how I use and what I use every day. Also, I'm gonna be shooting on my iPhone for the remainder of this video because I was watching Marquez on his autofocus channel that he uses just an, a phone. It could be a Google Pixel, iPhone, Samsung, whichever it is, and he'll just use that as his way to film. And I thought that was really cool. And I think I wanna try it as well and see where I can get with it. And hopefully also for you, if you wanna start YouTube, that you can use what you have already. And that's something I'm really big on is using what you have today. And then later you can upgrade. So I wanna try that out. Let me know in the comments what you think of it. Also, of course, anything that happens in the video, be sure to like, and then also subscribe if you love the content that's coming out here. All right, let's get into it. So this right here is one of the desks that I'll be using sometimes. This is actually my wife's desk, which will do homework or something like that. But I also will use this if I have to be home and have to use the, the MacBook for a lot of things. And I just don't want to have to sit at the dining room table in an uncomfortable chair or anything like that. However, it's rare that I'm using this because I take the MacBook all the time to a coffee shop or somewhere else because it, it's my portable workstation. That's what I use it for. But I use this Apple keyboard here. I love it. This is their newer uh, iteration of their uh, Magic Keyboard. It has similar, or if not the same key switches as it does in the MacBook uh, M1 variation, because this is the one where they went back to the original and the better key switches, because let's be real, the butterfly, uh, was it the butterfly switches? Yeah, those sets. Then I also have this trackpad here. This is from Apple as well. I love this thing. There are times where I need to use the trackpad over a mouse. I, there's just some applications for me that it works better. I know there's other people who are in the same boat and there's other people who think I'm absolutely insane for saying that. But these are basically all I use. Really, all I use is this and my desk is just taken with me by being the table, whatever it provides to hold the laptop. So that's really that. Also, chair, not that great. It's just from Staples and we just put this on here because it's cozier. Would not recommend, but it's better than like a kitchen or dining room chair. So would recommend in that case. Also really quick, you probably saw this in the background, but this is a cat litter and it's great. It's something we use because we live in a, in a condo right now that we rent and we don't want to stink up this room. So we'll use this as a way for it to auto clean and just dump into a little bin down there and then that's all we have to do. It's not for everybody, but for us, we just, we didn't want to have to live with the smell. So this we love. Would recommend if you're looking for something like that. All right, next we have this desk, which is actually a desk that I built uh, back when I was living with my parents. And I use this, again, not as often as I do maybe this one that we'll go into a little later, but I use it a lot in conjunction with the things that are going on here. And the reason is because I don't always want to be sitting. I want to be standing and just be able to come here and put the keyboard and type and move around and kind of get all the energy and jitters out of my system. So I love this solution. Obviously I want to be able to upgrade and maybe put this somewhere else and get rid of it even and implement this as a standing desk to eliminate and get more space out of this room or wherever I'd be. So good but could be better. So right behind me over here is not a desk, obviously, but it has some cool stuff that I might put on my desk or use in conjunction with it, or honestly, just some cool stuff that I wanna show. So let's get into it. Right here, we got Yoda, which is cool. Porsche, these are both gifts from my wife from Christmas. Here is the DJI Mavic Pro Mini. I would definitely recommend that. I can try to give a review on that if it's something you wanna see. As someone who doesn't do a lot of drone flying, this actually might be an interesting review for you if you're also new to it, but also want to get something a little better than just the minis. So love this product. Love that the screen's built into the controller. This microphone, it's actually when I started to do YouTube stuff and it's great. It's a Behringer 100, I believe. I mean, it says, oh, B100 or something like that. 
I love it. I just need to go get another cable for it to start using. This right here is my first camera I ever used. Well, not ever used, but ever bought. And I love this thing. Don't use it anymore, but it's just a lot of good memories and a lot of lessons learned with this. And yeah, I keep it here as a reminder. Down here, nothing special, just Lord of the Ring books, candle, old camera, dad jokes, other camera that was gifted to me actually from a Chick-fil-A um, guest. They said, hey, I know I take photos, here's a camera. Never use it, never will, but I also love that because it reminds me of the goodness of people and what they do for you. And then lastly is my guitar. I do play. I haven't played in a while though, but I love this thing and it's, I don't know, it looks so good in a room and it's beautiful and it sounds great. So uh, if you play an instrument, don't give up on it. Definitely something cool. So I have the PS5 here um, hooked up to the main monitor. I occasionally play, right now I'm trying to play Hogwarts Legacy, but it's not really, I'm just so busy, I don't have the time to really sit down and do it. But hopefully one of these days I will. Next is uh, this, honestly, of course, something that can move around, but I usually have a camera here just in case. This is the EOS R with the battery grip and the 50 mil. This is what my wife typically uses. And I'll be using R5 or a switch, it doesn't really matter. We just kind of flip flop around and so. These are not the headphones I typically use for gaming or anything audio. They're great. I mean, they're, I don't know, they're headphones, but I usually use like the Sony WXM3, or the over-ear headphones, or I use my AirPods. I love those too. But these I use right now temporarily since I have left the other headphones in a different location. I have to go retrieve those. Next, we can go over the the chair. This is their Razer. I think it's the Ixer or a Neki. I don't remember. Either way, it's a great chair. I love it, except for the fact that my cats in the beginning, now they're fine. They don't do this anymore, but of course in the beginning they started to damage it. So be aware if you have a cat or a dog or anything, they like to damage things that you love. Um, and I love them too, but this is actually a really great chair. It has um, a few different Things. Obviously you have your rotation on the armrest and it will lift up and I mean that's it. It doesn't slide out. I do wish it was that but it was on sale so I said whatever let's get it and it was way better than whatever I was using which was a kitchen chair. Next is the Sinosa Chroma. If that's how they say it. This is it is a mechanical keyboard but it's on a membrane I believe so Yes and no. I use this because my wife also sits, remember she sits right there and I'm here and I don't like to even have like a super loud clicky keyboard. Uh, this feels good enough for me when I'm gaming, if I ever do get to do that. But for the most part, I like it. I might go to their uh, most recent release, which is one of their wireless keyboards because I love wireless. I hate having this cable here. I want to move it out. I'm just, do whatever, but so far this is a pretty good keyboard for what I use it. Also, this is just water. I had spilled water. I was cleaning this up today for this video and it's completely spilled water so it hasn't dried up yet. And this is a Razer desk pad. It goes all the way across here and it's just a black. It was like 25 bucks. It wasn't bad. So I got that because I like to have all this covered here and not worry about the limitations of where I need to put my mouse. Next, we do have the mouse, which is this Ballistic Hyper Speed. I have two of these, one at work, one here at home. I love it that much. I know the Logic Pro series, they have some really good mice and maybe one day I'll get it. But right now, this is good. I love it. It's, it does what it needs to do. So I got the PS5 controller here, not that it matters, but I have these speakers from Insignia that are just absolute garbage. I hate them sub it like it's just the worst it's good like if you like never had sound in your life but it's honestly not great at all would not recommend those get like a logitech or just a proper like desk monitors that you can use spend a little bit of money if you want good sound quality these are not they're terrible i can't even i don't know how to express it they're just bad so that's a no all right let me go over the monitors really quick got a 24 inch dell monitor and a 32 curved Dell monitor. 
that is 144 hertz, that's 60. I use this monitor a lot for reading things, editing vertical content, and obviously your Spotify playlist, or just kind of have something off to the side. I don't want to extend it horizontally unless I had a three monitor setup that would go around, then maybe, but I think the vertical is better um, just because say you do have different heights in your monitor sizes, you can always mash them up here. Whereas if this was, you know, horizontal, I would only get from here to here maybe, and I don't really want to deal with that. So I find this as a cleaner setup for, for me personally. People have their issues with it. I don't know why, but this monitor, I love. This 32 inch, 144 Hertz panel, curved from Dell is fantastic. Color accurate enough for what I use. Obviously you can always upgrade on those things. And the RGB space that it covers is pretty, pretty good. So I'm not really getting any inaccurate colors out of you know my exports on different devices. So I love that. But also for gaming, it's, uh, it's phenomenal. And let's be real, I'm using the MacBook usually for any color sensitive work. And this one maybe for um, other things. So we recommend both of these things and the setup here. It's a very simple setup. And I think a lot of people can benefit from that because a lot of times we like to clutter and cluttering makes things a little bit hectic and hard to focus. So this for me works. This drawer is my junk drawer. There's nothing in here except for junk. So if you're curious, there you go. So I had recently found my first phone, which I know for you guys might be a flip phone or one of those like slide up phones with the keypad underneath it. For me, my parents didn't let me get, get a phone until much later. So my first phone was an iPhone 5S. Best first phone that I could have ever asked for. And I was able to get it working. And I think that my next video is gonna be something about this phone. So be sure to be subscribed to see the, uh, to see this video when it comes up. And also let me know in the comments, like maybe what you would want to see from it, or I don't know, like there's so many things I could do with this phone. I can even go and jailbreak it and see uh, what's available. So yeah, a little quick thing. So we're gonna first start off with the GPU because this is the most obvious thing in here. It's a GTX, oh GTX, oh man, we went back in time. It's an RTX 3080 Ti from EVGA and I absolutely love it. It's a big boy, but it does the job. Uh, then we have here actually, so here and where that 14 is written right behind, I have M.2 uh, storage equaling up to some number of terabytes, I don't remember, but super fast, love them. And then also with this motherboard, able to support a i9-1200K processor and then also DDR5 RAM. So I, this is definitely an overkill PC for a lot of things. I do the gaming sometimes, but also for me, I just don't like having things slowed down. I, it's a terrible excuse to get high in the hardware, uh, but I do use it every day. I use this stuff every day and I do Blender renders. I'm learning a lot of things on that. You don't need this stuff to do those things. But for me as an enthusiast and a fanatic of tech, I do like to kind of invest in and learn more about this kind of technology. So for me, that's makes sense. For others, I would not recommend to do this, but if you're someone who really loves tech, I mean, it's always, a, you can always appreciate it, I think. Next, I have a triple fan radiator here to, you know, cool the CPU uh, over there. Um, typically, I would have a glass panel here, but I have taken it off right now because I wanted to show you guys uh, inside without the glare. And then we have these exhaust fans here. So these are exhaust intake, and you have the panel here to, uh, to let the heat escape and to cool all the bits in here. So that's really all this is. I really don't know what else to, to point out. I mean, just around the back, you know, you got, I, I am using Wi-Fi. It is using the highest, the latest Wi-Fi though, so it's okay. Also, our is really small and I do have a Google Mesh Wi-Fi system, so that's actually really good. Charging thing. I love this thing, by the way. It turns around, there's multiple plugs and USB things, and you can switch them on and off whenever you need it. Oh, it's fantastic. And then back here, I know I have this thing, but it doesn't be, it's not being used. And then an eight terabyte uh, external drive. And I'm at like 70% capacity, so. I need to figure out how to figure, to remove and make more space for it because apparently I'm running out already. So yeah, this is the desk setup. It's very simple, very minimal. 
Some things I cannot recommend to people because it's not for everybody, but there are some things I think that would help. And so we got those and this. So those are the three desks that I use in this home, other than the dining room table when I don't want to use these things because I don't know why. But yeah. So hopefully you guys enjoy the video. I, I know it's very different than all the other stuff. It's kind of run and gun, but I wanted to see if I can do it with the iPhone. And so let me know what you think about the quality of it, things I might want to look out for, uh, or if there's anything here that you saw within the desk setup that you really liked or have questions about, or hey, maybe how did you feel about this one product? Or just give me your input. I'd love to hear it. I'd love to hear what you're saying. And uh, yeah, make sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'm glad you guys were able to hang out today. Hope you guys have a good one. Deuces.